Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich and what you're looking at right here and what I'm referring to is this stuff. That's all icons. And uh, I'm going to show you how to adjust the size of the icons and also change the font under the icons so that those of us with larger resolutions or maybe with limited vision can get a little better view out of the icons that are on our desktop. Now most people know how to use the large icons. What we do is we go to a blank area of the desktop and just single right click. A context menu will appear. You left click properties and then you click on the appearance tab and then you click on the effects button. This will bring up the effects window and there's a button right here that says use large icons. Now we can do that if we want to do it and this will make your icons large but I'm going to show you how to do it the manual way and you get a little more control over the way it looks so let's do it the manual way and I'll show you what I'm talking about instead of going to the effects button we're going to go to the advanced button here and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust three things the icon the spacing horizontal and the spacing in vertical so what I do first is I go to icon and the default icon size is 32 the large icon size is 48, so I'm just going to go ahead and change that to 48. The font is uh, by default Tahoma, and I believe it's Tahoma by def default, and it's a font size of 8. Now I have mine bolded, but I do that on purpose because I can see it better. But I'm going to change this over to a, a standard Windows XP font that everyone who has Windows XP has, which is Lucida Sans Unicode. I'm going to change this to font size of 10 which is a little more readable. Now we're not done yet. What we do next is we go to the icon spacing horizontal. Now this is actually good information to know. If you have Windows XP and uh, your win your icons are just too close together or too far apart and are all messed up, this horizontal spacing and the vertical spacing, which I'll get to in a second, should be 43. That's what it should be. But being that I'm going to use larger icons, I'm going to change this to 56. And then what I'm going to do is drop down this menu again and go to icon spacing vertical, which is also 43. I'm going to change that to 56. And then I'm going to hit OK. And then what I'm going to do is hit Apply. And I'll say, please wait. OK. Now you'll notice that all my icons are much larger. They're not double size, but pretty close. They have some little extra graphics in them. And, uh, but you'll notice that they're kind of bunched together. So what do we do about that? Well, there's a little Windows XP trick to take care of that. We just right click on a blank area, go to Arrange Icons by, and you'll notice that Align to Grid is checked. We uncheck that by left clicking it once and then do the exact same thing again to bring it back and look at that. Now it's spaced my icons the way it's supposed to be. So that's essentially how we do it. What we did, just to recap, is that we went to a blank area of the desktop, right click, left click properties, then we went to the appearance tab and then we went to advanced button and then this brings up the advanced appearance window and then we went to the item drop down menu, we selected icon, we changed 32 to 48, we changed the font to Lucida Sans Unicode, font size 10, then I clicked bold and then I went to the icon spacing horizontal, I changed that from 43 to 56 and then I went to icon spacing vertical and changed that from 43 to 56 as well. And then I hit OK and apply is grayed out. But if I had made any changes, it would the apply would be clickable. I click that and then I click OK. And then that's essentially it. We are done. We've got nice big icons, especially for those of us with bigger monitors, smaller, uh, not smaller, higher resolutions that make the icons really tiny. This could be a real lifesaver, or if you have limited vision and you need to see stuff better on your screen, this is the really easy way to do it. I want to remind again that you can do this by choosing Use Larger Icons uh, via the Effects button, but I notice when I do that that sometimes the font does not come out the way I like it to. But doing it the manual way, you have absolute control over the way that Windows handles the icons and it just looks plain cool. And by the way, if we go to some place like my computer, you see how the icons here are also bigger? The, f the font also changed here. And if we go to my computer, the larger icons and larger text do carry over into these windows. So if I uh, go to documents and things like that, all the stuff is bigger and it's not in a way that looks screwed up either. It looks proper. The font, you'll notice up here, even changed. There are some of them that won't.
Some won't, but most of them do. And uh, hopefully this will help you out. If you like this video, please subscribe or leave a comment or do both. Take it easy, people.